Sorry. Hey guys, it's Hope to Whip Vlogs here. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be today's video. So, I told you guys a little bit about the video yesterday. Um, but this is, um, why you should get a mechanical keyboard. Because there are so many reasons. And guys, I can just highlight one of them. And one of them is literally the simplest thing. Which I can't really shoot. Yes, I can. One of them is... You might want to take another thing. I can cut it. One of them is, it is completely customizable. This is a Cherry MX Brown Switch mechanical keyboard. Now mind you, you're just hearing the switch, but as soon as I put this keycap back in, which I'm gonna put this way, it's the escape key. And then you'll hear the escape key. But one of the reasons is it is very customizable. This keyboard is extremely customizable. You can, um, depending on what type of mechanical keyboard, uh, you can actually swap out the switches. The name for that is hot swappable. And you can swap out mechanical keyboard switches and put in whatever mechanical keyboard switch you want. I'm not sure if um, if this keyboard is hot swappable, well, I'd have to look it up, but if it was, I, I would put some linear switches in here just to try them out, so that way I wouldn't have to buy an entire new mechanical keyboard. Um, another reason that I think you should get it is the sound. Now, obviously, the sound varies depending on which switch you get, but... The overall sound, that is a bad sounding space bar. I have no idea why it sounds that way. But the overall sound is pretty much the same. It's very mechanical. And honestly, I like that. Um, I like the sound of a switch that does that. Now, mind you, I don't like quick clicky switches. Clicky switches sound terrible and way too mechanical, but a brown switch or um, a tactile switch, which is what a brown switch is, because if you can slightly hear, it's tactile. It has a little tiny, before it actually hits the uh, plate, which I think is aluminum, it is. Um, and before it hits the plate, it has a tiny little tactile feel to it. Now this can also be quite annoying if you're erroring and you use MVDA, which is why I would like at least some linear switches where the arrow keys are, because that would be nice. Um, but that's one of the drawbacks of having a tactile mechanical switch for me, is that if I arrow around, sometimes I really don't want to feel the tactility under my fingers. Um, but overall, I would I would totally recommend the Cherry MX Brown if you like typing. Uh, because typing on a linear switch does not feel very nice. Um, I've done it. Um, I've tried it out on certain mechanical keyboards. It doesn't feel very nice. But using it for arrow keys, um, it feels great. So I maybe, if this is a hot swappable, I'll have to look it up. But I might be able to put some linear switches in the arrow keys. Anyway, third reason. Um, third reason is, honestly, truthfully... You will have a much better typing speed on a mechanical keyboard than on a membrane keyboard. I know that that's controversial, but it's true. If you type on a mechanical keyboard long enough, you will have a very fast typing speed. Um, I don't know what it is. It, I don't know if it's just me, but I've had a greater typing speed on a mechanical keyboard versus on an actual membrane keyboard. And a membrane keyboard is basically just a keyboard that doesn't have mechanical switches. You can't take off the keycaps without breaking the keyboard, because if you do take off the keycaps, um, you will just have, you will see a piece of rubber, and that's it. Um, and after a while, that just 
for me, I can't really increase my typing speed on that because it, it hurts. Um, it tires your fingers out. And with a mechanical keyboard, to highlight my fourth reason, you'll want to keep typing on it. It feels that good uh, to type on. Um, it just, the typing experience is way better. And honestly, it's just, um, it's a really nice keyboard uh, style to type on. I would not recommend typing on a membrane keyboard, especially after you get a mechanical keyboard, because once you get a mechanical keyboard, I really don't think you could ever go back. Um, at least in my experience. I've tried, it doesn't work. Um, another nice reason to have a mechanical keyboard, aside from better typing, is your fingers, you'll want to keep typing on it. Now I have highlighted this a tiny bit, but you will want to keep typing on this keyboard. You could uh, end up wanting to type about, a, I don't know, 100 words on a piece of paper, you might end up typing 130, 140 that is how many words you might type and that you know it'll increase your um ability to love typing to love writing to love doing that kind of stuff and it's just it's so much fun to type on um a fifth reason is you don't have to put as much pressure on your fingers um to type so on a membrane keyboard a lot of the time the only time it actually registers your your press is if you literally are bottoming out on the keys it sounds terrible and honestly that's that will tire your fingers out um it takes a lot of pressure normally if you're just pressing on a key on a membrane keyboard it doesn't do anything unless you heavily press it on a mechanical keyboard however if you just slightly press a finger on a key You don't even have to press very hard, even just a light press, depending on the amount of grams it takes for the key to actuate. It really, it is a lot um, less. So on a Cherry Mix Brown, I believe, I have done my research, so I actually do have research to back up on this. It takes about 55 to 50 grams of uh, 45 to 50 grams of pressure to actually activate the key. On an actual keyboard, it takes more than that. And honestly, when I'm navigating around using tab, shift tab, whatever, it's nice that I don't have to press very hard on the keys because, you know, it's just a quick, I'm just navigating around with my screen reader. Um, so I'd say that's about the, I'd say that's the fifth reason. And Honestly, it's just a great style of keyboard to have. Um, for gaming, it's really good for gaming um, because you can just press, you can go really fast, you can go really quickly, and it just, it'll register all your key presses. Um, and a lot of people will say, oh, well then if you're gaming, then you can get a different type of switch. And I guess that highlights on my sixth reason. Um, obviously for gaming and for typists and for anybody, there are different switch types. You can have totally different switches. There are all kinds of different switch types. There are clicky, there are tactile, which is the one I have, and then there are linear switches. And there's three different switch types, but it's getting to the point where there's so many switches where there's actually different categories. There's tactile mixed with linear, switches which are the razor orange switches like there's so many types of switches you can get that you can have a fully customized keyboard and it's just it's really great um because you can like clicky switches but a friend could like tactile switches and that's fine because if you have if you guys both have mechanical keyboards which obviously you would you don't have to have the same preference of switch as someone else. You can still get the same amount of productivity done with a clicky switch versus a linear switch. It all depends on your preference and you can customize the switch type. So you're not forced to just use a giant rubber tactile switch thing, you know, like a rubber dome keyboard just to use for your everyday use because those are not customizable. You can't customize the inside of it. 
but with a mechanical keyboard you can. You can literally build your own mechanical keyboard out of whatever material you want. If you wanted to build a very cheap keyboard out of like plastic, you literally can do that. They sell them on Amazon. They sell cheap mechanical switches that are clone switches, but they still work. You can customize it any way you want with switch types. And I think that's the beauty of it. You can have whatever you want. You can have very smooth keycaps. You can have very rough keycaps. You can have the keycaps painted in whatever you want. You can have customized keycaps. They have a, they had a, um, a PewDiePie, a PewDiePie keycap that is, uh, it's a tambourine keycap and you press it and it has like little, uh, bells in it and it sounds like a tambourine. You can align your keycaps in whatever way you want to align them. It could even look like, you know, like something that I can't say without being copyrighted, without being a uh, flag, but you can make it whatever. I mean, it's, it's whatever. It's completely customizable. You can make a full blown mechanical switched key calculator. I've seen that being made like small uh, project people do it, but it's totally doable. Um, and I think the beauty of it is just that you can customize it you can have a better typing experience, a better computing experience, a better gaming experience. It's just, it's all in the realm of possibility with a mechanical keyboard. Now, I will go over, I will go over of, of a couple of cons. Number one con, it's very pricey. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I paid almost $200 for this keyboard. Was it worth it? Yes, but to some people, it's not. So if you want to go on the cheap route, route, you can pay about 40, 50 bucks for a clone switch, but that's the way it is. The cheapest Cherry MX switch you're probably going to get is about 80 bucks, around the $80 range, maybe the $90 range, but that's about as cheap as you're going to get with a Cherry MX switch. If you want to get clone switches, that's, um, well, that's less money, but it's clone switches and it does work. I do have a clone switch, but it sounds, uh, a little bit like a Cherry MX Brown. It's an Altimo Brown, but it's a clone of a Cherry Brown. And honestly, if you get a Cherry Brown, it sounds way better and it feels way better to type on. There is more of a tactility with an Altimo Brown, but it just doesn't, it doesn't feel the same to type on. It tires out your fingers and uh, the plate is plastic. It's a cheap keyboard. It was only like $36 on Amazon, but, um, the more high-end you get with these keyboards, the pricier you're going to pay. I, there's some keyboards that cost like, oh, I don't know, about uh, 80, uh, not 80, like in the 200 to $500 range. There, they, You can build a mechanical keyboard for like in the $1,000 range. It, it's a lot. Um, now, Gatoron switches, there's all kinds of different switches. There's Gatoron switches, Cherry MX switches, Altimo switches, uh, Zilio v, Zilios V2 switches, which are tactiles. There's, um, like, you can have whatever switch. Razor switch, that's a big one. Um, there's Logitech custom switches. So companies are making their own switch types, but it all depends on your preference. Um, I like Cherry, but honestly, I, I've tried, I've never really tried Gatoron, but I've heard that Gatoron is a little bit better than Cherry. Um, but, um, I know it's pronounced Gatoron as well, but I'm just gonna say Gatoron because of the way it's spelled. Um, so, you know, that is, you know, it's whatever type of switch you even want. Like, if you really wanted a Cherry switch, you can get a Cherry switch, but a lot of people are like, don't get a Cherry MX Brown. I will defend a Cherry MX Brown because honestly, it's not a bad switch, um, but it all depends on your preference. Um, I heard, I saw someone in a, in a group say that it was the most overrated switch, but yet the most underrated switch. And I don't disagree with that because a lot of people talk bad about it, but a lot of people don't talk enough about it either. Um, it's not a bad switch, but you know, I understand where people are coming from. I understand it because you know, I go through my own conflicts with Cherry MX Brown switches, but honestly, I mean, it's not a bad switch and I'd still use it. Um, but my overall thoughts, mechanical keyboards, way better than membrane keyboards. 
And even Dakota can testify, his typing speed was not, I mean, it was okay, but when he started using this keyboard, it really improved. I think it's faster than mine now, which is actually kind of crazy. Um, but his typing speed is actually way faster than mine because he uses this keyboard pretty much on a daily basis. Um, but that's pretty much that. I mean, an overall sound of how it would sound if I were typing, I guess, you know, I'm obviously just going to be hitting a bunch of random keys in the space bar, but if I had a decent typing speed, uh, about 100 words a minute or so, it would probably sound something like this. That's about the closest you can really sound to typing, and of course, the obvious thing that you guys all want to hear. So, there's a little bit of some rattly keycaps, uh, such as this terrible sounding space bar. Seriously, I don't know what MS DOS, I don't know what DOS did to this, but it sounds really bad. It sounds just horrible. Um, I might get it replaced at some point. Uh, but that's pretty much that. Uh, the reason you should get a mechanical keyboard. Also, this keyboard is very nice. It has some volume wheel. In your next video, you should do an informative video yeah. like on how, how you used to, how you would travel with your airport and stuff. Oh yeah, and it has some media buttons as well. But that's pretty much that. I mean, uh, this keyboard is $169 uh, retail price. Yeah, I said that. $169 retail price. It is wired, has a USB cable. You can obviously get wireless. That's not a big deal. And that's a new thing too. A lot of mechanical keyboards are becoming like that. And before that was not the case. Um, but this keyboard is MS DOS. Um, it's a DOS for professional Cherry MX Brown Switch mechanical keyboard. They do make these in red switch and blue switch. And I believe they also make them in blacks and clears possibly. I don't know, but I know for a fact you can get them in brown, red, and blue Cherry MX switches. Um, and uh, it's, it's honestly not a bad keyboard. Um, obviously it sounds better on a desk, but I'm doing this on the table where it kind of sounds, you know, just like a keyboard. <laughs> um, it does sound better on a desk. Um, it's very fun to type on. I can literally type, uh, I love mechanical keyboards. I'm not typing very well because obvious reasons, but that's pretty much a thing. Uh, Dakota's favorite phrase that I sometimes like to do on test mechanical keyboards, uh, even when I am not, um, typing, uh, on an actual keyboard is, uh, eat your corn, love your corn. Get RBT to 1 million subscribers. There. Um, but that's pretty much, I mean, my typing speed was not that quick beforehand. Um, I also figured out that putting my screen reader to say the words after I type them is also a great idea. But um, that's for a whole different video. But um, a lot of times when I am testing out linear switches, I do type that because it's an RBT phrase that Dakota loves so much. Um, it used to be popular on his channel, but it's not anymore for some weird reason. Uh, and it was eat your corn, love your corn, get RBT to 1 million subscribers by Christmas. But I never type the by Christmas part most of the time because I just don't really feel like typing it most of the time. But that's just a little sample of what I normally, normally when I go to a Best Buy, normally if I see a linear switch, I literally just go, I like type on it kind of a little bit and I do the eat your corn thing, which I'm just 
since I beat your corn in a period. And then I'm just, I mess with the arrow keys and that's pretty much what I do um, when I test out mechanical keyboards. These uh, keyboards uh, can handle up to, the key switches rather, can handle up to 50 million key presses. So you can press the keys up to 50 million times before they might start to wear out on you, which would take years. <laughs> um, it would take at least, you know, maybe two or three years before they start to wear out. But that's pretty much this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you guys do to share this video around. I really wanted to make this video. Um, I guess another con as well is, uh, if we wanted to go into that, is it is quite hefty. Uh, mechanical keyboards are not very, uh, they're not very light boards. Uh, they are heavy boards. It doesn't matter what you, uh, what kind of plate you have. If you have a plastic plate even, they are not light boards. They are heavy boards. So if you're a person who's kind of like, eh, I like traveling with my keyboard. I like the fact that it's light. Yeah, you might not get that with a mechanical keyboard. Um, even if you have a little board, that's like 65%. It's still gonna be heavy. Mind you, this is a full-size keyboard, um, but these boards are not light. Um, most membrane keyboards are lighter simply because of what they're made of and how they're made up. Um, so anyway, as I said, that's pretty much it for this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and obviously click the notification bell for more videos. There will be a house tour coming up. Stay tuned for that and also, my new cane that is blue and gold there will be a uh, a section of a section a video coming up on that as well so stay tuned for those two videos um we love you guys and all of us me dakota and the dogs who are playing and fighting with each other well <laughs> you guys have anything to add huh no okay uh, me, Dakota, and the dogs will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!